Welcome to Rocky Broad Solar, where we encourage you to make the current flow. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the Franklin Whole Home Battery, also known as the Franklin A Power X. Let's get into it. So, Franklin Whole Homes, a relatively new player in the energy storage market. They were just founded in 2019 and are headquartered out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, Franklin Whole Home is backed by Sequoia Capital, which is an American venture capital firm with over $85 billion in asset management. So, in other words, Franklin's got massive financial backing, um, and, and to get that kind of backing, you obviously have to know what you're doing and be offering a, a great quality product. So Franklin also has tier one access to the highest quality lithium iron phosphate cells on the market, which gives them the ability to give homeowners top quality energy storage for a very competitive price. That gives them the ability to compete with Tesla, Enphase, Solar Edge, all the other mainstream manufacturers of solar and energy storage. The name Franklin Whole Home comes from Benjamin Franklin. He's originally the one that coined the term battery, also the inventor of the lightning rod. So Franklin Whole Home decided to, to name their company in his honor for, for the advancements he's given to the world. So Franklin is on the approved vendor list of many of the top lending partners that, that you can find for solar and energy storage products, including Goodleap, Mosaic, and Sonova. Again, all of this just really proves that they are a strong player with trusted products that, that have backing with, with people that just have massive financial um, backing. Franklin A Power X is a lithium iron phosphate battery. That is the industry leading battery chemistry currently on the market. That is because it, it is a, has a very low rate of degradation, which means you can cycle these batteries daily, use them to maximize your consumption in your home, reduce dependence on the utility grid, and also they are not prone to thermal runaway like some of your older lithium ion batteries. Battery capacity is 13.6 kilowatt hours. Basically how much fuel is in the tank. 13.6 kilowatt hours of energy. It's got a max continuous output current of 5,000 watts and then a peak output current of 10,000 watts. And so 5,000 watts is kind of the, the current that it can just run continuously to just run loads in your home. That peak output current is kind of what you need to start large inductive loads like heating and air conditioners, um, well pumps, pool pumps, septic pumps, or any large motor loads. The warranty is a 12 year warranty, which is really one of the best warranties on the market currently for home energy storage products. You can stack up to 15 Franklin A Power X's on one site, on one home. Now that would be a massive battery bank and in most cases there would be no need to do anything close to that. I think once you get to about eight, you kind of reach that max power output. Anything above eight, you're just adding, again, more fuel in the tank, not a larger engine, if you want to think of it that way. Um, so the Franklin A Power X uses the Franklin A Gate X as the microgrid interconnect device. Now that is similar to what most people would think of as a transfer switch. The difference between a transfer switch and an MID is that an MID can work in parallel with the utility grid, which, which allows solar and batteries and utility grid and your home all to work together as one. A transfer switch, on the other hand, like what you would see for a standby generator, disconnects from the grid, 
turns on that second source of power, turns off the second source of power, turns on the grid. So it's one or the other, but not both. With the MID, you know, you're running everything together seamlessly and it's built to work together. So not only can a microgrid interconnect device work in tandem or in parallel with the grid, it can also disconnect from the grid just like a transfer switch. So when the utility loses power, it's going to disconnect from the utility grid and create a microgrid for your home to seamlessly operate on solar and batteries. The Franklin A-Gate-X has smart circuits, a smart circuit module that can be installed that allows you to install up to two large double pole breakers. And what that gives you the ability to do is say, back up your whole home, but maybe stick your heating and air conditioning breakers in there or your water heater or something that's gonna drain your batteries down that you may not necessarily always need in a backup scenario, but you may want. And so you could set those smart circuits to you know, shut off once your battery hits a certain state of discharge. Um, if, if, you, if you haven't sized your system appropriately and you're overloading your batteries by running too many loads in your house, it can kind of load shed those circuits as well to make sure that you, your, your system kind of operates more seamlessly. So it's got a 200 amp non-backup lug pass-through or 200 amp pass-through for your non-backed up circuits. Now, um, for people who aren't solar professionals, that may not be a big deal or, or you may not really realize why that's so revolutionary. But what that does is it allows you to make the A-Gate X your service entrance equipment, regardless of if you're backing up your whole home or just part of your home. And that has a lot of major advantages that other manufacturers in this market cannot offer. Um, one, it has built-in consumption CTs. Uh, consumption CTs have a really high failure rate as far as installer error. They, they really do take a skilled person with attention to detail and they're very easy to install improperly, which can really um, cripple your system's ability to offset your power bill or maximize self-consumption in the home. By utilizing those built-in CTs, that eliminates installer error as far as it goes with CTs. You know, you install the 88X as your service entrance equipment, put everything downstream of it, whether it's backed up or non-backed up. Uh, the other great thing about that is it, it eliminates a lot of these uh, electrical code issues that you run into when you're trying to connect large solar and storage systems to your home's electrical service. Oftentimes, when you connect a large solar or storage system to your home's electrical service, um, in order to accommodate the National Electric Code, oftentimes you have to do very expensive electrical upgrades. Um, and, and by utilizing the A8X as your service entrance equipment, it can kind of eliminate the need to do a lot of that expensive electrical work. So it also has production CTs, built-in production CTs that monitor the production of your third-party solar system. Um, it, has a, it has generator integration, so you can basically connect any uh, utility sense or two-wire start generator to the Franklin Whole Home ecosystem. And, and what that'll do is if you drain your batteries down in a prolonged outage, you don't have solar or it's at night, whatever the case may be, it can kick on the generator to charge up your battery bank and turn off the generator and it'll let you to run on batteries again. And so that's just a really efficient use of generators when you're integrating them with solar and storage. Uh, Franklin A Power X also has this black start feature. So this is an AC coupled battery. Essentially, it pairs up with any existing uh, solar system. So solar panels make DC current. They get that that DC current gets converted to AC current through your solar inverter or in, micro inverters, maybe. Well, well, the Franklin Whole Home Battery is an AC coupled battery, so basically it's meant to pair up with existing systems. It's system agnostic. 
and also to pair up with with systems today that can offer the same battery capabilities as it can. So that, that system takes the output of your existing solar inverter, the inverter that's making AC current, it transitions it back to DC current to charge your battery bank, back to AC current to charge to the home loads or discharge to the grid. So what that black start feature does is it, it, it saves some AC power back to where if you drain the batteries to zero at night um, and, and you, have, you have no power left in the tank at all, it's a prolonged utility outage, you've drained your battery bank down, it's always going to save a little bit of reserve to come back on the next day or the preceding days to kind of wake that grid tied inverter up that's connected to its AC output to sense to see if the sun is shining and, and kick that that inverter on to start charging the battery bank um, so that's that black start feature is just in other words a, a really good thing to have for prolonged utility outages to make sure that your system will continue to wake up every day looking for that available solar power and charging your battery bank one interesting thing you may not know is the Franklin home power battery is actually a 15 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, the reason why they don't market it that way is because only 13.6 is usable for the customer. That additional 1400 watts is utilized for that black start feature. Another thing that the Franklin A-Gate X can do is, is it can utilize over 65 amps of solar of a of solar ac output um, a lot of its competitors can't actually do that and so the the way the franklin a gate x does that is you use the franklin ap box um, and what that does that's kind of a what you could think of as a charge controller so you're going to have up to 65 amps connected through the solar port of your franklin a gate x if you have more solar or multiple solar systems that exceed 65 amps, you can connect that additional solar through what's called the AP box. Now the AP box is going to monitor the output of that other solar system and it's going to be able to PV shed or essentially when, when there's a grid outage scenario, you're not connected to the grid, you're just running your home's loads, you're charging your batteries, a lot of times when you have a really massive solar system, the, the, the solar output, um, when, when your home can't accept that solar and your batteries are relatively charged up, it's just too much solar and there's nowhere for it to go. So a lot of other AC coupled batteries will just frequency shift to try to turn that down or even just turn it off completely. Um, and, and by using that AP box, you're able to kind of shed that excess PV so that less PV power can come in, sort of controlling the charge of your batteries during a grid outage. Um, so again, a lot of times this Franklin home power system is a better AC coupled battery compared to some of its competitors. I'm not gonna name them in this video. Just like every mainstream solar and storage product, the Franklin home power system comes with a great homeowner app as well as a desktop site where the homeowner and the installer can go in and view what's going on change settings kind of gives you a whole rundown of of how you're using your power in your home and how you're using the grid so it will show how much solar power your panels are producing how much of that power is going to charge your battery bank how much of that power is getting exported to the grid and then how much power you're importing from the grid at night or during the day to meet your home's loads. Now, depending on your specific scenario, there are several different settings that can be utilized for the Franklin home power system. Uh, for homeowners that maybe get net metering and they just want backup power for utility outages, you can set your system to a backup only uh, setting to where, you know, your, your batteries are always going to charge up anytime the sun is shining. Once they're sitting at 100%, um, they're just going to kind of sit there at 100% state of charge 
in preparation for a utility outage only. Next, you've got maximized self-consumption. So if you're under a utility that doesn't offer buyback at all, or maybe their buyback plan is really just kind of lame and they're not giving you um, the same amount of money for the power you give them as they're charging you for the power you use from them, you may want to use that maximized self-consumption setting. That's where anytime the sun is shining, you're going to use it in the home or charge your battery bank. You're going to send it to the grid at last resort. And then anytime your home is using power, you're going to pull from the solar first. Anytime the solar can't meet your home's needs, you'll pull from the battery second. And only once your home needs more than the batteries and solar can provide will you pull from the utility grid. It kind of uses the grid as kind of your last resort. Lastly, you can set it up for time of use. And that's where your utility company is charging you more money for power during certain times of day than others. And so in that case, let's say um, you have a peak use rate from 5 to 9 p.m. And during those hours, your utility is going to charge you quite a bit more money for your power than they normally would any other time of day. So in that case, what the Franklin Home Power System will do is you're going to charge your batteries during the day. You're not going to use your batteries at all until you hit that 5 to 9 p.m. window, at which point it's going to use the batteries rather than pulling from a grid. And that way, it's going to avoid you using power during those peak use periods. My opinion, I love the Franklin Home Power System. It's my favorite AC coupled battery currently on the market. It can pair with any existing solar system. It can pair with basically any generator. Um, it, it's built to be generator agnostic, solar system agnostic. It, it's got the lithium iron phosphate chemistry. It's got a great peak output current, a great warranty. The ability to really stack a bunch of these units if you really need some major power. Uh, it's got the black start feature. It's got the smart circuits to sort of manage your home load and save that battery power for real critical loads when you really need it. And really what it's got to offer is its ease of installation. And so, hey, maybe you don't think you care. If you're an installer, great. This is a very easy system to install as long as you know the nuances of how to make it work for you. Um, if you're a homeowner, maybe you don't think that matters, but it does matter because you want a system that, that your installers are not going to make errors on when they're installing it. And so Franklin's really designed the system to be easy to install, which, which is going to be less prone to having any kind of issues for a homeowner in the long run. Well, thanks everyone for watching today. If you're interested in getting solar or batteries on your home, go down in the description below, click on that Rocky Broad solar intake form, fill out a few details about your specific scenario, and I'll get back to you within a few days with a zero cost, pressure free quote. If you're more of a do-it-yourselfer, now this is not a do-it-yourself system, but if you're more of a do-it-yourselfer kind of person, you're looking for more DIY solar products, also go down in that description below, click on our affiliate links. They offer some of the cheapest products I've seen, and I've really done my research out there. Uh, some great deals on solar panels and DIY-friendly solar products. If you're getting value out of today's content, do me a favor hit that like button, subscribe, press the notification bell, or leave a comment down in the description below. Again, thanks so much to each and every one of you for watching. I really appreciate you. Until next time, take care.